thank you for coming to attend this press conference called uh, today. Uh, today we have called for this press conference to ad address an issue which has been going viral in the social media and in the print media, which I'm very sure you are also aware of. Uh, the issue is uh, related to our uh, political campaigns in Alontaki uh, Assembly constituency, where Temjen Imna Along is the official BJP candidate. Uh, John Barlaji, the Honorable Union Minister of State for Minority, Minority Affairs, and I believe Sir Nadine Koliji, our national spokesperson and in charge of Naglen, was also present in that uh, meeting in Alontaki. And John Barlaji shouted, praise the Lord and hallelujah. And it has created such a huge hue and cry all over Nagaland. People from all over the state coming forward to condemn, saying that BJP has done this to gain political mileage, which is not so. So today we wanted to clarify this to you loud and clear that John Barlaji was a very good uh, Christian before he joined politics. He was a pastor before he became a union minister. And it is his prerogative. He loves to carry forward his faith because all we know that all things comes from God. And the day, the events that were happening back there, that was also by the grace of God that the meeting could uh, take place uh, successfully. And uh, when he shouted, praise the Lord and hallelujah, he has not committed any offense. He has not done it to gain any political mileage or for uh, pol uh, political uh, um, mileage or to gain any political gimmicks, but he had done it because it has come from his heart. So I want to clarify this to you today, that when a person feels it right in his heart to worship God and to call upon the name of God, wherever he is placed, he is at liberty to do so. And also, I also want to make this uh, statement and place it on record that the BJP Nagaland, the members of BJP Nagaland, we are also very much Christians as any other members from politi other political parties. We are no lesser Christians. So whenever there is a meeting, state meeting, big or small meetings, we always make it a point that we invited a pastor or a deacon to come and pray and invoke God's blessing for our program that is to be followed. So that is the norm that we follow. So I appeal to the our Baptist Church uh, pastors fellowship to kindly not misunderstand our intention because it when I attend political programs or other programs in Nagaland all sorts of programs everything starts by invoking the blessings of the God of the Lord and honorable pastors are called before the start of a program sometimes there is a mass prayer also no votes are being asked in the name of God. But can anyone say that we should not remember God? Being the Naga people are setting a standard that God should be remembered all the time. Before everything is done, anything is done. So how can it be said that you don't remember God? No one is asking for votes in the name of God. So that is point one. And I think my colleague, Sapraluji, has very nicely said that this should be clarified so that there is no misunderstanding. And I believe some misguided political people to create confusion are probably spreading this and not giving the full picture to either these wonderful organizations or the people of Nagaland. This picture would be clarified and the truth would be known. In fact, I am happy to see everyone joins that. When you say praise the Lord or hallelujah, which is the start or end of a program, there is no vote being asked on that. And everyone feels happy remembering God. Secondly, that was point one. Secondly, we've had for two days, 
a hectic tour of various constituencies with our General Secretary organization, B.L. Santosh Chief, who came from Delhi. We spent a night in Mokokchung yesterday. We first went to Toinsan Sadar. It was an organizational review. So we met our party leaders, Karekartas, candidate, district president, mandal president, booth presidents, different morchas, <coughs> met them, took feedback. So we went to Tonsan, we went to uh, Kodidan, and we also had the opportunity of reviewing Tuli constituency and Along Taki. And then today, we went to Atoizu. We have been an historic mandate. Starting Monday, Tuesday next week, after two, three days, a galaxy of leaders will be addressing different rallies across Nagaland. Honorable Home Minister Amit Shah, to begin with, various ministers of the Union Government, and the grand finale would be the Honorable Prime Minister's rally, just before election campaigning is to continue. I'm also happy to, I'm, I also wish to point out that there will be joint campaigning between NDPP, BJP in different seats. We will share that schedule with you as we get closer to those dates. Honorable Chief Minister Nephew Rio, Honorable Chief Minister of Assam, Dr. Hemant Mr. Sarma will be campaigning together one day in both NDPP candidate and BJP candidate seats. <coughs> Our party cadre, as has been told by, so there's much to be done. I think when we talk about roads, there are three stages to roads. The first is creating a road or giving access for movement, which is a big challenge also in Nagaland. The second is building a good road in terms of blacktop and other things. And the third is to be able to maintain it given the weather, the rain, the landslides. So there are multiple issues. But overall, the provision of an access is creating more connectivity. So this is a general point, specifically for Nagaland. Wherever and whenever BJP comes to power, you will note infrastructure is a focus. Under Prime Minister Vajpayee, you had North, South, East, West corridors, Golden Quadrilateral, highway speed. Under Prime Minister Modi, even more speed. So our vision document also talks about 10,000 crores for more national highways, more funds for state highways. And overall, we would like to see the load, road conditions where roads are already rough built. They should now be brought to the next level, improved with black topping. And where new roads are needed by creating a new... Yes. They have to be completed. But uh, new, um, new projects are, are being promised, but without yeah. completing the no, previous projects. I think it's a good question, and I must thank you for that, because that I can explain it. You see, please bear in mind, New projects come against a new proposal, new DPR, new scheme getting funds for it, etc. Old projects are continuation of the work. They both have to happen. The old have to be completed, the new also. And completing old is also good for getting more projects in the same area. So that's why I'm saying, if we do not also get newer projects, then you can't pause development because those schemes will lapse at the end of the financial year. Central government, whatever schemes are there, they are for a financial year and different states apply. So both have to happen simultaneously.
Thank you so much. Maybe we can put on the fan. At uh, a little on that, <coughs> I want to place this on record. Is it a copyright of any organization or any political party that BJP cannot say Please praise the Lord or hallelujah? Because from my own perspective, I'm also a good Christian. I go to church. I pay my tithes. Me belonging to BJP Nagaland doesn't mean that I become a lesser Christian that I don't pray or I don't do my fastings. I'm also as good a Christian as anybody else from any political, other political party and that is the message that I want to carry it forward. Since this is a good day and we have such a fruitful time, I would love to conclude this with the shouting of Barlaji, praise the Lord and hallelujah.